Let's get into top your top three smoothies then. Let's do three recipes. Let's have them. Okay, so let's see. Top three recipes. Number one, my biggest fetish lately has been with sweet potatoes, which, you know, usually I cook about six or eight sweet potatoes on a Sunday night to last me the week to eat. But a lot of the times, I just don't feel like eating a sweet potato and I'll throw it in a blender. So it'll be a cup of unsweetened almond milk a full cooked, of course, make sure it's cooked, cooked and chilled sweet potato. And then you can take it in any direction you want. Uh, I love it with coffee, which sounds crazy, but I'll do two tablespoons of instant coffee, a tablespoon of almond butter, a half tablespoon of cinnamon, and a bit of stevia, depending on how sweet you like it. Add four to six ice cubes and it's just like this coffee, sweet potato, almond butter smoothie, which I swear no smoothie store has ever, uh, I've never seen one before in my life, but it's one of the best things. I that. mean, it sounds kind of weird. You've got like yeah, yeah. cooked and chilled sweet potatoes in a smoothie. It sounds kind of weird, but it obviously works. So we've got sweet potatoes, almond milk, coffee, almond butter, cinnamon, stevia and ice cubes yeah and then sometimes i'll put in a little vanilla extract or i'll put in uh, some chocolate powder make it a sweet potato mocha Uh, you can just take it in whatever direction you want or you can do uh i did a paleo one which was almond milk sweet potato grass-fed butter protein it was uh, the paleo protein and a couple ice cubes and it's like this delicious paleo uh, sweet potato pie smoothie, but you can take it in whatever direction you want. That's the great thing. A sweet potato pie smoothie. That's hilarious. Um, that's good branding. I like that sweet potato pie smoothie. You should put the word smoothie in there. I reckon you get a lot of people taking interest in that. All right. So that's the, t- that's one smoothie. What's the second one we've got here, Bradley? Uh, well, it being summer, I've loved pina coladas. Uh, I've been hooked to my pina colada smoothie the last couple months. So Again, you could do a cup of coconut milk if you don't have coconut milk. Almond milk is my go-to base because it's only unsweetened almond milk, by the way, because it's only 30 to 40 calories per cup, which is absolutely nothing, and there's no sugar. So a, a cup of coconut milk, if not almond milk, is fine. A cup of frozen pineapples. Don't get it sweetened. Don't get it in heavy syrup, just regular pineapple. Half a cup of... Uh, unsweetened coconut flakes, like the dehydrated coconut flakes that you can put in your pantry for a year. Uh, A scoop of protein, of course, vanilla protein. Now, I also recommend only getting unflavored or vanilla protein. The reason is because you can make any smoothie in the world with that. But if you get one of these funky protein flavors like uh, birthday cake or chocolate peanut butter protein, then you're really limiting yourself on the smoothies you can make. You're not going to add mango to that and have it taste good. So I'll always add the one scoop of vanilla. Uh, you have the pineapple, the coconut, a bit of stevia, of course, the almond milk or the coconut milk, and a couple ice cubes, and it's delicious. It's like you're in a hammock uh, laying in Hawaii. All right, I like that. The pina colada smoothie. So we've got coconut milk or unsweetened almond milk, frozen pineapples, just make sure they're not, it's not in syrup, unsweetened coconut flakes, a scoop of vanilla or unflavored protein, stevia or some ice cubes. That's a pina colada smoothie. Yeah, yeah stevia and then definitely some ice cubes. The other thing too is if you're using a lot of frozen fruits, if you use frozen pineapple, then you can reduce the ice a bit. But if you're using fresh pineapple, you're going to want the ice because you'll want that thicker texture. All right. We're talking to Bradley Jared. You can get his uh, smoothie guide called Ultimate Smoothie Guide at thebradass.com. What's your third and last smoothie suggestion, Jared? Okay, let's see. Hard to narrow it down, but I'll go with... I got to go almond butter. I got to do something peanut buttery or almond butter because oh, it just tastes so good. So let's do chocolate peanut butter smoothie, which is like a Reese's Pieces. And this will be low carb, low sugar, yet it will satisfy your sweet tooth or your need for dessert. So again, you'll do uh, 
a cup of unsweetened almond milk, uh, a banana is optional, but let's say no banana, two tablespoons of either, either almond butter or peanut butter, which one, whichever one you have, uh, two, ta- two to three tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, uh, not the Nest Quick stuff, which is uh, laden with sugar, but it's just for baking. It'll just be unsweetened uh, cocoa powder, which is really high in fiber as well. Let's say three tablespoons of that, one scoop of vanilla or unflavored protein. Uh, and then I'll throw in a bit of vanilla extract, but it's completely optional. It's not, uh, it's not that mandatory. And then to thicken it up, but make sure that it blends okay, because when you don't have a fruit, it can be tough to blend, is that's when I'll throw in at least a quarter cup to a half cup of cottage cheese. So it adds protein, but it really helps it blend a lot better. And it gives it that creamy texture. And then a couple ice cubes, and you're all done. you got this awesome uh, Reese's Pieces smoothie that has no added sugar. All right. Reese's Pieces smoothie. I love it. Chocolate uh, or peanut butter. you got got low-carbon sugar. So a cup of unsweetened almond milk. It's, it's, you have to be careful that you don't get the sweetened. The sweetened uh, almond milk does taste better, to be honest with you. I know oh, yeah. I oh, yeah. like sweetened tastes damn good, but then, but it's not as healthy. Unsweetened is definitely the way to go. Unsweetened almond milk, two tablespoons of almond or peanut butter, three tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, a scoop of vanilla or unflavored protein, quarter cup of cottage cheese, blend it up with some ice cubes, and you've got a Reese's Pieces smoothie. I love it. There's some cool names there. You've got Reese's Pieces smoothie. You've got the pina colada smoothie. And then you've got the sweet potato pie smoothie. <laughs> exactly. Well, I mean, I'm trying to get the unhealthy desserts, all those pies and cakes and candies I had as a kid. I'm trying to get a healthy version of it. Yeah, I like it. Brand it. I reckon you brand all those with those, re- like, branded as like the, uh, the, something that's really bad for you, like the pizza smoothie or something. <laughs> The healthy pizza smoothie or the healthy pizza smoothie. <laughs> I'll stick to the sweets. The pizza, I, I don't know about. So we've got a question here from one of our Facebook Live followers who's watching uh, and listening to this live from Jaikar Vadla who says, do you have any lifestyle, lifestyle 